Not one moment did Mr. McMahon, when none of you were watching, choose law enforcement. And that is what I chose my entire life. Can you imagine having a dentist run the cardiology department of a major hospital? How could you set policy? I'm not applying to be the dentist or the cardiologist at the hospital. I'm applying to run the hospital. I'm applying to be the administrator of the hospital, and everyone knows that the head of the hospital has to know every facet of that hospital and the community it serves. The question to me, I, why I didn't serve in uh, law enforcement, the question could go back. Why in your entire life in Staten Island have you never been involved in any of the civic life? And too much in this campaign has been throwing, trying to throw labels at me and trying to say, first they say, well, Mike, he's too liberal, or Mike, he's too conservative, or Mike is this, or Mike is that. <laughs> let's, 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 let's get away from the labels and let's get back to talking about the incredibly important issues that are facing the people of Staten Island. Um, when frankly, um, nobody has ever called Mike McMahon too conservative. And in fact, the conservative voter on Staten Island has decided that I am the conservative <laughs> candidate here. And as far as liberal, anybody who votes alongside and with Bill de Blasio 97% of the time is a tax and spend liberal. Okay. Yes, he is. You are now saying that you want to bring resources to the DA's office, but after 9-11, when we were um, so, so in crisis, and that there were um, people scamming other people for federal money, and that people were out of work and crime and burglaries were up, you voted to reduce the budget of the DA's office um, by 10% or more. We had to make hard choices. We had to, uh, as your, your friends will say, we had to raise taxes for a short period of time and then reduce them. We had to make cuts across the board so that we wouldn't have to close firehouses, we wouldn't have to close police stations, so we could keep paying your salary in the Manhattan DA's office. 2001 and 2002, because the budgets of the DA's office were so low, we had to do with less staffing. And I worked even more hours than I usually did. Oh, and number two, okay, 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 that okay. it's just not well, true. In 2002, you, none of the you, other councilmen on Staten Island voted for that DA budget to cut. And the following I'm year, not the other there was a two. I'm Michael McMahon, okay, and I did okay, what was right for okay, the people of okay, the city of okay, New York. Okay.